In this presentation we're going to look at control limits and the essentially we're given some key pieces of information here. A normally distributed quality characteristic is monitored through the pro, uh, through the use of control charts. And the these charts have the following parameters. All charts are in control. Okay. So essentially what we have here is an X bar chart, okay? and the lower control limit the center line and the upper control limit are given okay so it looks something like this this is a this is our chart here let's say and let's just say it goes up something like that okay now uh so the upper control limit is 126 the lower control limit is 114 and the center line CL is here is 620 just as a remark what happens here is that this here or actually more so the distance from the control limit to the center line is 6 in in both cases it's symmetric okay um so uh yeah okay uh, um we're also given the R chart and the lower control limit there is 0 the center line is 8.236 and the upper control limit is 18.795 okay so that's something similar there it's not necessarily symmetric in the case of R's, uh, the R chart because you can't have negative values for the R chart so it's sort of trimmed at 0 anyway the first question is what sample size is used for this analysis so what we're going to do there is just see what sort of formula we got to work with. So these are our formula here. And the also what we're given just down here below is some correction factors, okay? Now, um what I'm going to do here is actually just sort of uh, state the process range again. Let's just put that in black. It is 0 and what is it? 18.795. So 8.236 let's just put that in that's r bar and this is 18.795 okay now this corresponds to i'm just going to write this again up here r bar d3 okay r bar is actually included here that's r bar is 8.236 and r bar d4 okay now you might notice that d3 times r bar gives you 0 uh, but we know R bar is not equal to zero, okay? So that is R bar D3, sorry, D3 is equal to 8.236 times zero, because we know R bar is 2.36, so D3 necessarily has to be equal to zero, okay? Uh, what is D4? D4 is essentially uh, the divisor of the two. So it's uh, D4. I'm just going to write it down here below actually. D4 is R bar D4 divided by R bar. That is uh, 18.795 divided by 8.236. Okay. Working that out on your calculators, you should get, and I'm just going to work it out my calculator just to make sure I'm right, 2.282 approximately. Okay. Essentially what I want to do is see which value it is here on this R bar chart. So it actually, it turns out that it is 2.82 and that corresponds to the sample size or more so the batch size of four okay so we're going to use all of these these values from now on okay so 0.9213 for small c4 c5 and uh, 0.889 and so on okay so the first we actually have answered the first question what is the sample size used for the, this analysis and that is the sample size for each batch and that is n is equal to four now the next question is estimate the mean of the standard deviations s bar so what we have to do is find out what s bar is okay so what i'm going to do here is let we're going to use this formula here okay that one here i've sort of 
use up a lot of space around it so let's just go down here and I'll just write, start again down here x bar x double bar is 620 okay plus or minus three times uh, s bar over c4 which is not 0.9213 times the square root of n square root of 4 which is 2 okay now sorry where does that not 0.9213 come from let's just go back up here there it is it's on the c4 column let's just go back up there it's the c4 column for when n is equal to 4 okay now what we got to do is get a, uh, do a bit of calculator work but you see the thing is that should work out to be 614 and 626 okay because we know that already well that means that 6 is equal to 3 times s bar over 0.9213 times 2 that's the square root of 4 okay so essentially what we could do here is just actually figure out what s bar is just by rearranging that little equation now I'll just give you a minute to do it there but actually what I, I get here is a number of like this not point three six five uh, three not point three six eight five three okay now so that's the answer to the second question actually that we we're asked to do I'm just gonna scroll back up here uh, three point I'll just yeah three point six eight five three now the last thing is compute the limits for the process standard deviation chart the s bar chart okay so let's go down here one more time okay and what we're going to do here is use the uh, this formula here uh, what I'm going to do is actually sort of uh, make a blank page so s bar is equal to uh, 3.6852 okay 3 is there straightforward enough we already seen that c4 was equal to 0 0.9213 okay but what's c5 it should be just beside it there in our correction factor let's scroll up to it where are we gone there we are so batch size that's c4 there and c5 there is just right beside it 0 0.3889 so let's go down to that. Not point three eight eight nine. Okay. So our formula here is S bar is three point six eight five two plus or minus three times not point three eight eight nine over not point nine two one three times S bar again. That is six point eight three point six five eight. Uh, no, so let's just write that in again 3.6852 okay now a little bit of calculator work uh, I make that to be 4.6668 so that is to say 3.6852 plus or minus 4.6668 uh, working that out, what we should get is minus 0.9816 to 8352. Okay. Now, here's the thing. This is a negative number. Okay. You can't have negative standard deviations. So what you do there is just replace it with zero. Okay. So that is the control limits for your X bar chart or your S bar S chart there. 0 and 8.352. So that ends that question.